Hello, let's get started. Before we can actually start out, well, we need to create a workspace. Illustrator has different workspaces and they're stored up here where we have the word essentials because Illustrator boot up in essentials. I can actually choose automation and suddenly all my panels over here changes. And I can use painting and printing and proofing. And all of them are actually just picking up some panels that I can find under window. So it's just a storage of different panels to whatever I would like to do. I would like to do my own panel setup. So how do I do that? First of all, we'll go to essentials just to start out basically. Then we would like to figure out how does these panel works. They have three views. The minimal view is what we see now. It's just an icon. View number two is when we take this panel and drag it a little bit here, click and drag, and then we can see the name and icon towards it. And the third view is when we open the panel. Now it's open, now it's open, now it's open. Furthermore, some panels in Illustrator are quite hidden. They have this double arrow over here. And if I click on that one, it suddenly opens up and show me some more. If I click again, it suddenly collapses. So it has different views up here. So remember that little small hidden secret there. So I got these uh, three views, so I would like to figure out which panels do I need. In window, I have a collection of all available panels in Illustrator. So if there's a panel I need, I'll just go in here and um, figure it out and, and find it. Flatten a preview, yeah, here it is. And then I close it. So I don't need all these panels. I only need a few of them. So I'd like to make my own arrangement. I'll take this and drag it out and all this to drag out. And then I need swatches and I need layers and artboards and I'll group these one together so they are kind of in the same team. Then I need color. I don't need these two, goodbye. And all this, well, appearance I need, but rest of it, it can wait. But I miss some panels and I miss actually Pathfinder. It comes out like a teenager with friends, so I don't need a line, goodbye. Transform, that could be convenient. Now I need to arrange my panels so, not like, so they're not like messed up here. So I take my swatches and put over here and I wait for the blue line to come in and then I release. Then it's packed here. Then I go for my appearance and then my sequence of layers and artboards. So it's nice and clear. Then I have my transform and pathfinder and I wait until I get another blue line here. Then I minimize them and my color I would like my color to be on top of this. Now I see the small blue line and I'll release it. And then I would like these ones to be permanently open. I click on the double arrow here and now they are permanently open. If I want artboards, I just click on the tab of artboards and then I'm into the artboard panel. Easy as that. If I do not like the names here, I just click here and put them in so I only have the icons. If I hover over, I actually get the name like this. Okay, but we are beginners, so we would like to see the name so it's easier for us to find whatever we need. There's plenty of space to put in new uh, panels, but we don't need to have Illustrator cluttered. Now, when I look on my toolbar over here, this is the toolbar. It has a plethora of different tools, and I would like to minimize that also so it's not so overwhelming because it's kind of stuffed. And there's even more tools. Whenever you see the small dot in the corner, it's actually a small error. You click and hold and suddenly more tools pop up. So it's kind of, wow, never ending story of different tools. So what do we do? Well, we minimize it. We would like to build our own toolbar too. I go into window, then I say tools, and then I say new tools panel. Then I call them, I need to give it a name. I call it fast tracker tools and then I say okay and then I have my work kind of toolbar here now I need to put something into this and I do that by taking my tools from my uh, default toolbar and just drag them over here so I take my black arrow drag it over here and release it so it comes into this one my white arrow drag and release oh it didn't go well here try it again and again so it can be quite cumbersome. 
then I will look out. I don't need any more selection tool. I need my pen tool and uh, it can be hard to get if you click and hold for too long, then kind of, okay, how do I actually get my pen tool and drag it over? I can't drag it when I'm out here. You can actually just drag out all the tool group, all the tools in this group. You just click on this one and then you can take the tool here and drag it up and release it and then close the toolbox. Then I need some, some, some in my type tool. I need a, would like to do some text at one point and stroke or oh no, this is actually my line tool. I would like to have that too. And then I also have a lot of different geometric tools here. I definitely would like to do squares and circles and polygons here. The rest, I don't need that for now. I'll just close these ones. Then later on, I might need to be able to make some freehand drawing and I can use the pen tool for that. It's kind of in the family of the, or the pencil tool. It's kind of in the family of the pen tool. And I need my smooth tool in case I'm not good at making straight lines. My smooth tool will help me out. Then I might at some point need to erase something. And then we have two crucial tools here that is really fun to work with. More on that later. And what do I have here? The shape builder tool. I need that too to get over here. Like that. And then I would like my hand tool. Uh, it didn't go well there. Yeah, it's a bit picky. Release it, click and drag. It can take some time to build the toolbar, but it's definitely worth the effort. This one doesn't have any group. So just click and hold, drag. Wait till I see my plus sign. Then I have my minimal toolbar here. So now I don't need my uh, default toolbar. I'll just close that one and take my uh, fast track, and put it into here. It is basically stored now here into my tools where I have my fast tracker tools. That was the one I stored. Okay, now over here, I would like to store all my panels and my toolbar. So go up here and then I have a possibility to create a new workspace. And I'll do that. I'll call that for fast track. Say okay, now all this is stored. So if I suddenly go into printing and proofing, something else happens, as you can see like this. If I go back to essentials, suddenly Illustrator remembers how I modified my essentials. If I reset my essentials down here, then I go back to square one as essentials are meant to be. What if I go to my fast track? Ah, here it is. I can always modify my workspace by just uh, making a new one by saying new workspace and then override it, giving it the same name. This is how I maintain a, uh, a good workflow. Because if I suddenly come into kind of, oh, oops, I suddenly bumped some of the panels and uh, oh no, I closed, oh, what was the name of that one? How, how was it I did this? I'll just go up here and then I have the clean up all my panels and tools. Awesome. Build it now. <laughs>